Hey, it's Brittany, and we are on our way to Mount Dora. Happy Vlogmas, everybody. We are gonna go explore Mount Dora, go to a few places. Um, there's a restaurant there, a sushi place, that I've literally wanted to go to for years. I saw them on social media, so I'm super excited to actually get out there and um, go check it out. But, um, we have the GPS going. Um, there's a little bit of storm clouds coming in, but hopefully we won't get rained on too much. But I'm excited because everybody says Mount Dora is like the cutest town ever, and they say it's really cute for Christmas time, so maybe we'll have to swing back out here for Christmas time. But uh, yeah, hopefully we're gonna go get some food, good food, um, some coffee, check out Mount Dora, and bring you guys along with us. So don't forget to enter the giveaway and hit that like button and subscribe. Let's go to Mount Dora. Welcome to Mount Dora. Woohoo, we made it. We did it. Hooray. Okay, we made it to downtown Mount Dora. It's that like historical downtown area. It is so cute down here. Um, very excited to just explore. We're going to a coffee shop, a lunch spot, and then a milk tea spot after our lunch. So I'm right next to, I think, a Cuban place. They're playing music. <laughs> Okay, the first place we're dropping at is Serendipity Brews, which is uh, has coffee and beer. So I thought that was really cool that it has both. So we're gonna go in here and get some coffee this morning. Okay, this has um, Taylor Swift playing, so it's so cute in here. Uh, also, they have really good, uh, this has coffee and beer, like I said, outside. Um, they have a really cool menu. Um, oh, they have like little games you can play in backgammon. It's so cute. But, um, cute little vibe. I love this sign. It's so cute. They have live music here. Their coffee bar, their flavors are really cool. And then they have fresh food. Oh, they have one of these counters. I love those. They're so cute. So yeah, lots of beers, lots of stuff. Uh, this is really good. I got uh, the blueberry matcha. I love matcha. As you guys know, I get that all the time at Starbucks, but it's really, really good. Um, Blaine got just the regular cold brew. They're out of nitro, but it has a great flavor. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, yeah, just the vibes in here are immaculate. Like these coffee bags remind me of coffee shops from home and everything. So it's really, really cool. And they're playing Taylor Swift, which I might have to voice over that because of it, but that's okay. It's worth it because I love T-Swift, but this is such a vibey, cute little place. Like, look at this wall. It's so cute. Yeah, and they do beer and everything, so this is kind of like a coffee shop slash bar, which I think is a really awesome idea. Like, why not have both? Um, yeah, I think this is super cool, but this is really, really, really good. All right, we got our drinks. We're just walking around, checking some stuff out before it rains again. But, ooh, I like all the iron. Um, was that iron rod stuff on that building? It's pretty. Oh, this town's really cute. It's really old. Walk in the wood outpost. Ready. Little shops. <laughs> To do. I don't know. I think it's slowly raining. I saw a little, the school's doing Beauty and the Beast <laughs> for their play. It's pretty here. I love little towns. I was telling Blaine earlier that I love that they have these like little signs with like the shops that are down that way. I think that's super helpful when it comes to like wayfinding in new towns. So I thought that was really cool. It has a uh, cute little shops in here. My goodness, this is adorable.
the nest bar. Interesting. It's starting to rain a little bit again, but that's okay. We are still gonna be walking around. Some good awnings. <laughs> it works. I also have my umbrella, but <laughs> mainly for the camera. I don't really care to get wet. But man, this is cool. This is cute. A quintessential cute Florida town. Interesting. Yeah, let's walk through there. Right now? Sure. It's cool. Bonjour. Yeah, there's like a bunch of these little like alleyway backway rooms with um, different shops and everything through it. This is really nice actually. The juice box. I know it feels good in here. The frog and monkey, interesting. Ooh, chocolate. Ooh. Oh, what? That's awesome. You know that chocolate's gonna be good, right? <laughs> wow, it's closed right now. We're also here pretty early in the morning on a weekday, so some stuff isn't open yet. But there's like nobody here. Look at those cool chandeliers though. This is so nice. It must be the yeah, restaurant and pub, the frog and monkey. Yum. Yeah, they have so much restaurants and shops that we will definitely be back. <laughs> it's called the Renaissance, this building. Interesting. Ooh, look at the frog and monkey's menu. This looks good. I'm gonna have to come back and try that place. Interesting. That's really cool. Well, they have a dog bakery. You get Chewy something. But for dogs or is yeah. hot dogs? <laughs> no, Piglet's Pantry, dog bakery. It's really cool. Bookstore. I love bookstores. Reminds me of Portland. Ooh, it's raining. This Mountain Dora Marketplace is really cool. It's like a co-op place type of thing. I saw that when I was looking at stuff to do here. So that's cool. I thought that was really cool. They have uh, a bunch of different places, but it's really cute. This is you basically just like walk up to the windows and you order stuff. It's really cool actually. Oh, the Magic Tea Market. This is uh, this is where we'll come after lunch because it's not open yet, but they have like bubble tea and stuff, which I was really excited about. Also, Allison A Bake Shop looked really good. It looks like it has coffee and it also has um, really good baked goods. Maybe we'll check that out too when we come back this way to go to the milk tea store. But I think we're gonna figure out how to get to uh, our lunch destination, which is the wave, and I'm super excited for it. It's raining quite hard now. <laughs> hard enough that I'm getting the umbrella out. <laughs> Whoa. See, again, wayfinding with these signs, it says the wave. So we were like, oh, we gotta go to the left. So we're going to the left. Okay, we made it to the wave. We're gonna go in in just a minute, but uh, we're putting down the umbrella. But we are here, it is pouring. I'm glad we're making it to lunch now because <laughs> it is currently pouring down rain. <laughs> I'm so excited for this, you guys, you have no idea. It's been years. But yeah, they have stuff like sushi tacos, sushi burritos, sushi donuts, crunch wraps, pizza, sushi pizza, sushi hot dogs, again, sushi burgers. That's really nice in here. Not busy right now either. The artwork is really cool. So yeah, it's really, really cute in here and I'm super excited. Um, first we ordered uh, some bao buns to start and then I'm not really sure what I'm gonna get yet. So I'll let y'all know. Okay, we started with the spicy crab bao buns and these look fantastic. So tasty looking, so I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, here we go. Mm. 
And that's really good. It's spicy, but it's not. It just has a good flavor to it. I'm like a wimp when it comes to spice. This is not spicy like at all. So I really like this. This is a really good crab flavor. Another big bite. Mmm. What do you think? Good. Good. Mm hmm They also had bulgogi and pork belly. But crab is good. I think next time I'll try the pork belly because I love pork belly, but this is really good. Okay, look at this sushi pizza. That's crazy. The crust is a tuna roll, and this is the poke sushi. I love poke. You guys know that. Um, but look at that. Look at how cute that is. And then Blaine got the burrito. It's good. Is Very it good? good? You like it? Yeah, this is really, really cool. And this is the poke sauce on the side. Um, and then we could have gotten spicy eel sauce or spicy tempura sauce, but we said no. But this looks really, really good and it looks it's huge. I mean, it was, I think mine was 18, so it's not super cheap, but it's sushi. So it's not like a shock to me that it was expensive. But like, look at how cool this looks. Like who does sushi pizza? This is why I wanted to come to this place for years. Um, and I'm super excited to finally be down here to come to Mount Dora and have sushi pizza. I think I wanna try a burger or um, a hot dog next time we come. Oh, well, they also have tacos, so. But this is really cool again, and I'm gonna give it a try. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my fork, because I'm that person. <laughs> I love sushi, this is amazing. Super, super fresh fish. Mm. Try the poke sauce. Oh yeah. I'm putting that all over that. Poke sauce, heck yeah. It's a little spicy so I won't put too much. I think I'm gonna put some soy sauce on it now too. But, 10 out of 10 would recommend the poke sushi pizza. Do you like your burrito? Blaine likes his burrito, so it's very good. I'm gonna chow down on this thing. It's so big and it's so good. I'll try to use my chopsticks. I don't think it's gonna work though. <laughs> but I'm gonna eat. So good. All right, I'll show you guys the rest of the restaurant because it's really cute. But yeah, that was really good. But they have really cute artwork in here of all of their stuff. Look at how cute that is. It was super good. Thank you so much. Yeah. My review of the wave. So freaking tasty. Um, my sushi pizza was gigantic. I am very full. <laughs> Blaine loved his burrito. It was actually a really nice sized burrito. The fish was extremely fresh. Um, you can check them out on their Instagram. Uh, I think they're the Wave Bistro Mount Dora. I can link them down below. But yeah, I've see. I saw them when I lived here last, but I didn't get to come because I didn't have a car but I've been following them on social media and just seeing all their really cool concoctions, like how who has sushi hot dogs and everything, which is crazy. We're going to the left? That's Sweet. Um, but yeah, it's so, so good, it's so fresh. Everybody was so nice, like you probably saw in that clip. They were, <laughs> they thought I was talking to myself and they were like, oh, that's a camera. So they were asking me about what camera it was and everything, so they were just like really nice. Um, our waitress was really sweet. Uh, I almost forgot my umbrella and she was like, oh, don't forget your umbrella. And so that was really nice. Just really great people here in Mount Dora so far. Um, really loving it here. But yeah, we're gonna walk down to the little waterfront area and they have a little lighthouse. So we're gonna go see it. This is such a nice little walking path. And then we're going out here to that little lighthouse. I don't know if y'all can see it in the distance, but this is such a nice little walking path. My goodness, I love it. There's benches and art. And these trees are really pretty. And it's not raining right now. I think that's an ice cube. An ice cube? Oh, it is. <laughs> Why is this an ice cube? I don't know. We're in Florida. Let's see. The Ice House players came into being when a handful of determined folks volunteered six months of sweat equity to renovate the former Mount Dora Ice Company into a community theater. Oh, well, that's cool. The Ice House Theater. Wow. That's awesome. I forget that there's like a bunch of historic stuff along this path. 
Yeah. As somebody who loves theater, that's really cool. I like that they turned it from ice into a theater. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, we're getting closer to the um, water here. This is beautiful. This reminds me so much of little, the little town in Washington we used to live, and I love this. Anywhere near water. <laughs> Even if it's a lake, it's fine. <laughs> it's a little windy. Uh, minus the palm trees. <laughs> yeah. yeah, palm trees are different than Washington State for sure. But this is really pretty down here. I could see this really beautiful on like a sunny day. And the danger mm. alligators. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, don't mess with the alligators and the snakes over here. <laughs> Alligator habitat. Oh my goodness. Can you see some gators? No. That'd be cool though. I'd be a little frightened if it came out of the water, but I can run. <laughs> Probably not faster than a gator, but. Zigzag. Yes, yeah, true. This is so pretty. Again, this on an actual sunny day would be extra gorgeous, but because it's rainy, there's nobody here. <laughs> so that plays in our favor. Oh yeah, the rain, I mean, because it, it rained, so the humidity's down right now and it's cloudy, so there's no sun. But yeah, it is a perfect, perfect weather day right now. Besides, I would love a little less clouds, but for the cloud coverage, I won't, I'm not mad. <laughs> but this is really pretty. Look at that water. Look at those clouds, Ugh. This is pretty though. I like it. Little baby lighthouse. It's a cool big old Adirondack chair. Grantham Point. Grantham? Grantham? I don't know. <laughs> Grant? Grantham? Grantham? <laughs> Things I don't know how to say. Mount Dora, Florida. Cute. Yeah, this would for sure be like a nice walk with like a dog, with our dog, if he wasn't so wily in the car. <laughs> but this is really pretty. Okay, we made it out here to the lighthouse. It's a little windy, so I apologize if the audio is crazy. But look at this little lighthouse. We love lighthouses. It's really cute. And look at this little sign. <laughs> Welcome to the port of Mount Dora. If anybody knows uh, what this means, leave a comment down below. The flags. And then the flags up there. This is really pretty though. This is gorgeous. I love water, being near it and anything. So, like I said earlier, it's just where I grew up. So it's very comforting to me. Lighthouse. This is the Snell's Lighthouse, which was for the public's work director. Is that what this lighthouse is called? I see the little sign. Let's see if there's any other little signs. Oh, I think that's it. The Snell's Lighthouse. Let's see, I'll show you the sign I saw. The Snell's Lighthouse. It's pretty though. It's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. With the lighthouse behind me, we are gonna walk right back into the city and go get some milk tea. I'm super excited. They have like taro and all, I mean everything I love. So I'll show you the cute little shop. It's adorable looking. Um, I showed you guys kind of it earlier, but I'm excited to get some milk tea. And then I think we're just gonna head on home. A nice little quick trip out here to Mount Dora. Get some really good, I mean, my matcha and his coffee was amazing earlier. The, the wave was fantastic. It lived up to the expectations of the hype that I had in my head about it. So that was fan-freaking-tastic. So hopefully this milk tea is pretty good. But we'll see what we get. Let's head back on into the town. All right, back to the Magic Tea Market. And it is open now. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is, oh, the AC. But this is adorable. Bling. It's like what we got at Epcot. 
Look! It's the Japanese rice cakes. Very cute. This is really cute though. They have a lot of cool snacks in here too. They have pokies. Or pockies. And the high chews. This is awesome. What? Skittles. Oh, they even have like chips and stuff. Like we get at Epcot. And Kit Kats, they have the Kit Kats. What? This is awesome. And Oreos. This is legit, you guys. Look at these Kit Kats. Um, green tea that we got. Some matcha. Red bean, it looks like melon. Wow, this, they have a lot of stuff here. This is awesome. I didn't even know that when I wanted to come here that they had like a little shops and stuff. Chestnut flavored ones. Wow, lots of ramen. This is awesome. This is really cool. Let's look at some of the chippies. Some of we've seen, like we've seen these guys in Epcot, but this is new. We just had the beef wellington ones, which they were really good. These look like, like a hot, oh, roasted fish flavor. Uh, spring limited edition, I don't know what those guys are. Looks like some shrimp. What, that's fantastic. Some squid, tomato, the little um, roasted flish, fish, <laughs> flish, roasted fish flavor ones. I saw those in Epcot. Some cucumber flavored, spicy crawfish. What are these guys? Uh, I don't know. Looks just like salt, sea salt, maybe. These are really cool because they have a little marble on the top. This is awesome. This is really great. Oh, what are these guys? Little pokey sticks, pocky. I don't know how to say them. This is really cool. Did you see all the Oreos? This is great. Yeah, and then there's all the milk teas and bubble teas here, which is really cool. Some Hello Kitty candies. Oh, they have shrimp chips and spicy pepper squid. Oh, interesting. But shrimp chips? Yeah, and then they have all of the milk teas, teas, matcha, boba, toppings. Cool stuff here. Oh, and they have mochi donuts and everything too. This is awesome though. All right, I don't know what we're gonna get, but we'll figure it out. I'll let you guys know. Okay, I end up I end up getting the taro milk tea with boba. It looks really cool. I love the purple color. Fantastic. I also put the little heart on the little place where the straw doesn't go, which is really cute. We also found uh, these things, like we found at Epcot in the little store here. I think I showed you guys that when we first walked in. We got like three different flavors, so we'll try them when we get home. But yeah, this is really good. I'm in love with Mount Dora. This place is fantastic, but this place is so cute. Very, very good. Um, yeah. Mm. The boba is really good too. I'm not really a good, I'm not a huge fan of boba. Love this, this is really good. Would recommend. Okay, we're back at the house. I'm opening my rice cakes. This one is the matcha green tea flavor. Look at these things. They look so cool. Look at that. Whoop. Blurry. I'm gonna try this one. These are really good. So I'm interested in what this one tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. So there's two different ones. The one on the right, which is this one, is the green tea flavored one. And then the one on the left which is this guy, is a red bean paste one. So let's try the red bean paste one now. See, look, red bean paste. Hmm. 
Hmm. I like the green tea one better. But the red bean paste isn't bad. It's just a really interesting flavor. But for sure the green tea flavored one is my favorite from this guy. I didn't know it was two different. That's kind of cool though. I get to try like two different ones. And then Blaine wanted the banana ones. And we also got the pineapple ones that we've already tried that on camera. So, But the banana ones look like this. You know, little banana guy. Oh, wow. Those taste like bananas. Mmm, too. He's like, mmm. It's not a real banana, buddy. You can't eat it. He loves bananas. Mmm. Banana's really good. The green tea one is good. The bean paste one is definitely, like, weird. But it's not bad. It's just different. Like, a different flavor than I'm used to. But the, look, the banana even has banana in it. The banana is really good. Pineapple's still my favorite. But it's cool to try some different flavors. And the fact that they were cheaper at that store than at Epcot was awesome. So, Mount Dora for the win. I'll finish that in a minute. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this little look into Mount Dora. We had a blast today. So happy I could go to the wave finally. The sushi pizza was amazing. But thank you so much for watching this video. Hit that like button and subscribe. Happy Vlogmas. And don't forget to hit that giveaway. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.